Welcome to Triangular Arbitrage Step by Step. In this tutorial, we'll see how to calculate arbitrage profit given three basic currency quotations without bid and ask. Let's take a look at an example. Here we have quotations from three banks and we have 100 million yen to work with. Our task is to find out if we can profit from these quotations and if so, how? It's easier to work with a problem of this nature by visualizing it. So as our first step, we are going to draw a triangle and place the three quotations on its angle. It doesn't matter what angle we place what code at. In step two, we need to identify the quoted cross rate. Since the code provided by bank C pairs 128 yen to the British pound and not the US dollar, that is the coded cross rate. In step 3, we find the implied cross rate using the other two codes. So we multiply 82 yen per dollar by 1.6 dollars per pound to come up with yen per pound implied cross rate. The result is 131.2 yen per British pound. In step 4, we compare the coded cross rate to the implied cross rate. If the two numbers are the same, there is no arbitrage possibility because we'll be selling and buying the yen at the same price. In this example, there is a difference as indicated by the two numbers that are circled. We therefore conclude that an arbitrage possibility does exist. Our goal is to sell the yen and buy the yen back to wind up with a higher yen amount. There are two possible ways to do this. Since Bank C is prepared to trade yen for pounds, we can first sell yen to Bank C for pounds. We then take our pounds to Bank B and convert them to US dollars. Our last transaction will be with Bank A to sell dollars and buy yen. If we wind up with more yen than we started out with, we've made an arbitrage profit. Another alternative would be to start with Bank A, do a transaction with Bank B, and finally with Bank C as shown by the red dashed lines. We can do calculations both ways and see which one of the two paths is profitable. Or we can analyze the two alternatives and rule out the unprofitable alternative. Let's do our analysis. If we start with Bank A, we pay 131.2 yen to receive a pound. If we start at Bank C, we pay a lower amount of 128 yen to receive a pound. Obviously, we want to pay a lower amount, so we start with Bank C and not Bank A. In step 6, we sell 100 million yen to Bank C and receive 781,250 British pounds. Now we sell the pounds to Bank B and receive 1 million and 250,000 US dollars. We make the final transaction with Bank A and sell the dollars to Bank A to receive yen. We now wind up with a higher yen amount than we started out with. In the final step, we calculate our arbitrage profit by subtracting the initial amount from the final amount. In our example, this amounts to 2.5 million yen. Had we started with Bank A, we would have lost money. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope it was helpful.